guys! Good morning! This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So today, I'm going to show you um, methods on how you can take a screenshot on Windows 10. Let's start. So the first method would be um, click the print screen on your keyboard. So let me show you. Pulip lang ako dito ng end of day report na sinasend ko sa client ko every day. So, the first method using the print screen on your keyboard will actually capture the full view of what you can see on your screen. So, if I click that, print screen, and then, for example, magpupul up ako ng MS Word or WPS Office, um, I can now paste uh, the the captured screen here by clicking control and then letter V which is yung um, shortcut keys for paste so if I do that as you can see yung buong screen yung na capture niya including yung time dito sa baba lahat lahat nung nandudoon sa screen okay so, that's going to be the first method. Another way for you to be able to do or take a screenshot would be using a snipping tool. So, from your uh, search bar dito sa baba, all you have to do is type in snipping tool. So, ganito yung itsura niya, guys. So, for example, itong end-of-day report, Meron lang kayong portion na gustong i-send sa client nyo. Ayaw nyo i-send yung full view. So, this will be very helpful, guys. So, pull up nyo ulit yung snipping tool and then just click new. And then, from here, nakikita nyo parang naging plus sign yung cursor natin. All you have to do is take yung portion na gusto nyo lang i-screenshot. So, click and drag. Yan. And then, release. From there, makakopy nyo na yung portion na gusto nyong screen capture. And then, from there, you can, you can again pull up your Microsoft Word or kung saan nyo man siya gustong i-paste. Pwede rin sa email nyo. And then, just hit Control v or right-click and then paste. Ito siya, guys. Okay, so as you can see, portion lang yung na screen capture niya. Alright? And then, the third method would be clicking the window key plus shift plus the letter S. So, if you do this, para rin siyang snipping tool, guys. So, pwede nyo i-capture yung portion lang na gusto nyo i-send. So, for example, ito, kita nyo parang plus sign siya ulit. So, ito, ka-capture nyo lang tong portion na to. And then, just release. And then, masasave siya sa clipboard. Pwede, pero, pwede nyo na siyang i-diretsyo kung saan nyo man siya gustong ilagay. So, for example, ito ulit sa... Uh, MS Word or WPS Office. So, again, Control v or right-click paste. Ayan siya, guys. Okay? This will be very helpful um, pag may mga portion lang kayo na gustong isend uh, sa, sa mga clients nyo. Um, meron akong um, isang experience wherein this particular website is preventing me from downloading a specific photo. So, snipping tool is very helpful kasi instead of you downloading the photo kasi hindi inaalaw ng website, pwede nyo na lang siyang gamitin para makapture yung portion na yun. For example, eto. Yan. So, for example, itong uh, particular na bahay na makikita natin dito. Yan. 
there are websites na hindi siya ina-allow na i-download. So, instead of me doing that, I can just pull up yung snipping tool or yung third method kanina na, na sinabi ko sa inyo, which is window key, shift, and then S. And then, just click new, and then you can just, you know, capture the picture instead of you downloading it. Alright? So, that's it, guys. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. So, um, also, I have other tutorial videos. I um, really, really encourage you to check on those as well because I believe um, those tutorial videos will also be helpful, uh, helpful for you. So, again, this is Mel. Thank you very much for your time today and for watching this video. Um, have a great day ahead and please stay safe. Bye.